Hello and welcome Sagittarius. I hope you're all doing well. Let's take a look at your cards and messages for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own heart throughout the reading and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. Let's take a look at your first message. I am an infinite soul tapped into the eternal source of good fortune. I love this Sagittarius because I'm seeing a connection. I'm seeing that there's going to be a connection with yourself first and foremost. So there is an empowerment. You're taking back your power in a situation. You're going to feel more energized. There is an expression of yourself that will come through easily this week. Good fortune is going to be following you this week as well. So things will just start to go in your favor. My lush and comforting home is my haven and sanctuary. So there is a focus here on your home or the relationships within your family or your house where you're living. There may also be a movement here. So you might be moving home. Uh, you might be being called to create a sanctuary in your home or where you are living. So see how that card resonates for you. My feelings, ideas and actions align with my soul's inherent worthiness. So this energy is speaking of honoring your feelings, really recognizing how you feel in a situation and then aligning your actions with how you're truly feeling. Money and wealth flow effortlessly and consistently to me. A beautiful affirmation, of course, and this might resonate for you with a situation that's uh, going on at the moment for you with money, with your wealth, or with a certain abundance that you're needing in your life. Guidance for Sagittarius. Okay, this one here is yours. Find opportunities to share with others the benefit of your experience, the fruits of your labor and the warmth of your heart. A beautiful sharing or being of service. There may be some charity energy going on here. Also, the fruits of your labor are going to be shown to you. So effort that you have put in going to open up other opportunities for you or there's a completeness that will take place soon. Just for one day, see how many daisies you can pick, how many blessings you can count, how many smiles you can share and how many lives you can touch. So focusing on on the little things, on the little things that you may miss and um, maybe a blessing um, that you can't see until you take a closer look needs to be noticed. Allow yourself to take the time you need to heal, to absorb, to absorb and accept loss and to learn the greatest lesson it can teach you. Okay, so I'm seeing that this loss, disappointment, grief, this energy is around you and there's um there's a lesson here or there is um, a beautiful blessing that can come out of this difficulty. Each day holds a chance to make something happen, to make something better, to make someone smile. So again, we have this energy coming through of um, you can touch people's lives or someone's life in a positive way this week, make someone smile just through a simple action or a kind word, perhaps. But it will send out amazing positivity and benefits to them, but also to you. You'll see it come back around. This is a time of financial difficulty. Do not allow it to undermine the faith you have in yourself. Respond to the challenge and move forward. Okay, so there is a challenge here, perhaps financially, perhaps to do with work or your wealth, your income your business, there's something unsettled here for sure, but you will be able to respond to this challenge in a positive way. And you are moving forward in the best way for you and you'll see things work out. Indulge yourself in your ambition, your hard work and cleverness will pay off. Allow yourself the confidence to shine. Give yourself permission to shine. 
Your hard work is going to pay off. So again, we have that message here. You have reached an impasse. Do not force the issue as there is nothing more you can do. So let it go. It's outside your control in so many respects. Don't force the issue. Let it go. Release. Surrender. Be generous and be open to the generosity of others and have faith this week. Guidance for Sagittarius. Gaia energy, the earth that nourishes us every wild day is a living, breathing, awakening goddess. Gaia is our earth mother, feeding our mind, body and spirit in countless generous ways. As we honor her, she heals and strengthens. Paradise is already amongst us. We just need to give it space to regrow. So a connection to earth energy here. You might be gardening. You might feel a connection to plants or animals. You might be outside more, but there's definitely a nature energy going on this week. Whenever you sit outside in a quiet moment of meditation, gently tune into the seven directions. North, east, south, west, below, above and within. Softly let your energy land in each direction and give thanks for the gifts, messages and blessings of each. And this will help you feel earthed and safe. So it's interesting how we have the earth energy and then we have you being earthed or grounded and sitting outside, perhaps in meditation or just being outside seems to be very important this week for you. Compassion for all is radical love in action. It's how we bring our families, communities, and humanity together to learn and grow, inspire and flourish. Compassion in all relationships softens tension and helps us thrive. There will be an opportunity this week for you to hold compassion when there is a difficult communication or interaction. Fire is the element of warmth, light, and spiritual alchemy. Air is the element of breath sound, knowledge, and imagination. Earth is our foundation. It's about growth, strength, physicality, and prosperity. Water is the element of emotions, healing, and intuition. Meet daily with these in your own sweet way. Beautiful connection into these elements. You'll see them more in your day-to-day -day life and how these energies affect you. There's definitely a strong earth energy here with these two cards. So I'd say earth is going to be particularly strong, that connection to nature. I'm connected with a higher power. The wisdom and intelligence of the universe is mine to use. I trust in life to support me. So there's a connection here, connection to a higher power, to source, to God energy. But also I see this as a connection to someone very important in your life or someone who will be very important in your life. So a new relationship, perhaps. All my relationships are enveloped in a circle of love. I have wonderful, harmonious relationships with everyone where there is mutual respect and caring on both sides. Perhaps there's a reflection that's needed. Is this truly happening in a relationship that you have? respect, caring on both sides. And if that is not there, perhaps a change is needed. I treat myself with unconditional love. I am a precious being loved by the universe. As I increase the love I have for myself, so too does the universe. And also you're giving that feedback to someone as well, giving that feedback to someone that you are, that you value yourself and that you have value I express my true being, my wisdom and understanding of spirit increases, and I express more fully each day the inner beauty and strength of my true being. There's an understanding that you have about what's really in your heart, and you're expressing yourself in a much more authentic way. I am free to say no if something is not best for me. I use the power of my mind and 
my free will to do what I know is right and I trust myself. So definitely trust yourself and if something is not right for you, say no. I flow with life. Divine order is ever present in my life and there is plenty of time for all that I choose to do. So everything in good timing, everything will work out in divine order. And you'll be more in the flow than ever this week by the looks of things and these messages. Some amazing messages coming through for you, actually, Sagittarius. I see an amazing blessing on the way for you in a circumstance where you really need it. The biggest blessing that you need is on the way. It will land in your life. A prayer is going to be answered. I feel that there's such a strong connection here to God, to the divine source. And that prayer, that manifestation, that intention that you have held or will hold, uh, will hold, that is going to flow through into your life and you will see it in real ways. So gorgeous energy here. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.